Hi, I'm Kishal from Sophos Support, and today I'll show you how to troubleshoot common installation and performance issues in Sophos Server Protection for Linux. In this tech vid, I'll show you how to install Sophos Server Protection for Linux, how to install with debug logging, how to identify performance issues caused by OS query, and finally, some steps to troubleshoot performance issues. Before you begin, ensure you have access to the root account to install or configure Sophos Server Protection. Let's get started. Start by downloading the installer from Sophos Central. From the drop down menu, navigate to Server Installers. Select Download Linux Server Installer. To run the installer, add the execute permission to the file by typing chmod plus x, followed by the installer file name. Then type dot forward slash sophosetup.sh and the installation will begin. Next, I'll demonstrate using the wget command to download the installer package directly from the terminal. This can be helpful for scripting purposes. Back in Sophos Central, copy the link address for the Linux server installer. Enter the command wget and paste the URL. Hit enter and the download will begin. The chmod plus x command is necessary once again to add the execute permission. After installing Sophos Protection for Linux, perform the initial check on your Linux server to confirm if SPL is installed and running. In terminal, run systemctl status sophos-spl. You will also need to log into Sophos Central to ensure the protected server appears with a green tick and a recent last active timestamp. Check the product version against our release notes to ensure it's up to date. If an issue occurs when trying to install SPL, ask the following questions. What is the Linux platform and version, and is it supported? Does the server have a direct connection to the internet? Is it a newly downloaded installer? And is the root account used for installation? To investigate further, we can enable debug logging when installing. Execute this command for installation. When running this command, whether the installation completes or fails, an install.log file will be created in the current working directory. If you experience degraded performance on the server after installation, first confirm that SPL is indeed the source of the issue. To do this, run the top command to show a real-time view of the system's processes and performance to identify which process is consuming the most resources. The OS query process can sometimes cause issues. If OS query is in fact the process consuming most system resources, the next step is to check the logs. To generate this log, navigate to the following directory, cd forward slash opt forward slash sophos dash spl forward slash bin. Then run the following command, dot forward slash sophos underscore diagnose. The diagnostic log will output to the current working directory. At this point, you may want to export the diagnostic log to another device if you don't wish to analyze the logs directly on the Linux system. Move the file to the desktop using the mv command and extract it using the tar command. I'll enter cd forward slash home forward slash sophos forward slash desktop. To extract the file, I'll enter tar dash xvf followed by the file name. You may need to change the permissions on the file. Here I'll run chmod-r755 and my file name. The logs we've generated provide insights into the health and status of Sophos Protection for Linux, helping to identify and address any potential issues. It's the central location where entries are recorded in the event of any SPL server issues, including OS query. Let's take a look at a log example. Here we see that there are several instances where I've run out of system memory, causing the OS query process to stop. To resolve this issue, I need to reduce the strain on the OS query database to prevent the process from halting. First, clear the database by running this command. Ensure you specify the directory accurately, as the rmrf command can be very destructive if mistyped or misused. Files can also be deleted individually by size or date. 
OS Query will then repopulate the database once up and running. Next, I'll update the configuration to adjust the buffer size. Open the plugin configuration file located in the following folder. Add the value events underscore max equals 50,000. This lowers the maximum number of events to buffer from the default of 100,000. I've set this to 50,000, but use the value that's appropriate for your environment. I'll run the cat command here to ensure that the changes have been committed to the file. Finally, run the following commands to refresh the changes. systemctl stop sophos-spl to stop spl, then systemctl start sophos-spl to start it up again. And that covers the overview of troubleshooting common installation and performance issues in Sophos Server Protection for Linux. Check out the relevant documentation for this tech vid in the description. For further assistance, view and post questions on community.sophos.com and go to techvids.sophos.com for more great videos like this one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>